Hallelujah. Shall we lift up our two hands to heaven and bless the name of the Lord for the opportunity to be in his presence the first Sunday of the month of August. Your month of August visitation for supernatural transformation. Come on now, give him thanks. Thank him for that privilege. Now, look forward. He must have reserved something for you today. That's why I brought you. He has not invited anybody except to bless him. Lord, thank you for what you have reserved for me today. I'm not going to lose it to carelessness. Help me to stay focused. Help me to remain sensitive. I must connect with what you have reserved for me today. Thank you, Jesus. And blessed be your name. Now, ask him specifically what you desire from him. Come on, go ahead and ask him. What do you desire from the Lord today? Ask him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree that everyone's desire in this service returns as testimony. I pray that this month we answer to his name in everyone's life. My God, who is also your God, will bring you health and cure this month. Every health question of your life shall receive instant answers this morning. And this morning, no sickness that followed you to church is permitted to return back home with you. Because the great physician is in our midst. The master surgeon is in our midst. The one that the first no case to anybody else is in our midst. Jesus, our final bus stop in our quest for health and wholeness is in our midst. Therefore, every of your health questions find swift answers this morning. Lord, let your work go forward with power and let your name be glorified. Now, give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please be seated. My case is different. We just change one sentence in there to drive home the man. What afflicts others is not permitted to afflict me because my case is different. Let me hear you say it. What afflict others is not permitted to afflict me. I'd like you to hold that with your confidence in God. This month must mark the end of all harassments on your head. This month must mark the end of all forms of harassment on your head. Somebody was struck with stroke. We had that testimony in one of the services today. And we'll spend about 500, 600,000 on medication whenever he visited the doctor. Sold all the cars in the family. Children stopped going to school from 2012. Yet, nothing was happening to him. He came to Jesus, the master surgeon, and he healed him for free. Healed him for free. <laughs> healed him for free. Like that woman who has wasted all her living on physicians, but was no better. Neither could be healed by any. Luke chapter 8, you remember the story with the woman with Jesus of Lord? She had spent all her living, everything she saved, every benefit she earned, but could not be healed of any. Ah. 
That's why they say health is wealth. Stop bragging on God because you have money to go to somewhere for healing. Do you know why? Most of the afflictions are by the spirit of infirmity and don't have no answer in any medical research center in the world. Doctors don't know anything about spirit of infirmity. It is not part of their curriculum. The ones who will teach them don't know it. <laughs> if your attack is by the spirit of infirmity, only Jesus can rescue you. And he went about healing, doing good and healing all them that were oppressed of the devil. Ah, including fever. He rebuked the fever on Peter's mother-in-law. You don't rebuke, you know, physiological problem. You rebuke personalities. He rebuked the devil behind that never going fever. And it left. And she ministered to them. That's why <laughs> everybody will know the way to church. Yes, yes, yes. This time, it's that many strong nations will come because they don't have any answer to the challenges on their lives. Mm. <laughs> I'm excited. The church will become the solution center for the world. <laughs> that woman was bent over for 18 years by the spirit of infirmity. There is no physiotherapy solution to that. The spirit don't know physiotherapy. He has no physio. So you can't therapy him. Amen. Spirits don't have physio. There is nothing to therapy. Spirit is wind. The prince of the power of the air. You have to capture the air and massage it. Ay, 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 ay. Jesus said this woman was afflicted by the spirit of infirmity. Luke chapter 13. He said, and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity that will never get a cure from any medical expertise center in the world. But come to Jesus. Hallelujah. A KH KHMS boy can command you to be healed. Yes, sir. And you be here. A four year old boy got himself out of sickle cell anemia. That no doctor in the world can attempt. She asked, Now, people in the days of protecting the child are taking pride in who their doctors are. I have a doctor in Australia. He's such a great doctor. If I see any pain in my finger, I run there. They will look at it and charge me $10,000. I asked me to go and cut my fingernail. That's all. That's all. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. You know I have some money. How many agree that I have some money? But he taught me on time that my destiny does not lie in the hand of a man. Oh, yes. That's why my sharp reaction to negative medical verdict, they can't stand the authority of the world. No, sir. No, sir. They can't stand the authority of the world. I'm not on any medication and I will not be on any until I meet with Jesus. Amen. And I saw me walk in 2039. Amen. 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 I'll be telling you more of that this coming Sunday. I'm not bragging, you know. I'm telling the truth. Hallelujah. True truth. Hallelujah. <laughs> telling you the truth. 1979, by an encounter with the world, I knew I would never be sick. 
as God through Egan taught me Matthew 8, 17. You can't afford to waste your life you don't have a spare. Therefore, if you came with any infirmity to this service, <laughs> with the healing Jesus at the center, who has fully, legally paid the price for you and I to live a sickness-free and pain-free life, I decree that plague drops off you now. <laughs> Our teaching series for the month is entitled Unveiling Our Total Head Heritage in Christ. It's not in us, it's not by us. It is in Christ and by Christ. Available to us by the mystery of redemption. When he forgives your sins, he heals your body. Forget not all his benefits, who forgive it, all their iniquities, and heal it, all their diseases and delivered their soul from destruction. They all follow, it's one package. It's one package. Now, this is how it works out. The provision is settled. But delivery requires your signature of faith. Who had believed that report on the price paid on our behalf in redemption. Let him expect to see the hand of God deliver it in reality in his life. <laughs> he was wounded for our transgression. He was brief for iniquities. <laughs> Surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. The judgment, judgment of our peace to live a peaceful on this dotted life was laid upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. The word grief there means sickness. The word sorrows there means pains. Surely, do you believe it? Yes, sir. He has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. A state of no sickness, no disease is a state of super health. Yes, Therefore, Everyone that must assess his total health package in Christ must have to answer the faith question. <laughs> our inheritance is real and settled in heaven forever, but our delivery is premised on the functionality of our faith. Our faith must come alive we must append our faith signature for delivery. The, angel, the angelic Korean forces are out here today. Uh, and they say, yours is here. Can you sign for it? Faith is that signature. You sign, it delivers. You sign, it delivers. You sign, it delivers. You don't sign your delivery note. Korea won't deliver your stuff. You don't append your faith signature. Your inheritance will keep hanging, hanging while you are suffering, hanging. But that's not you. Today, your faith signature shall be authentic. Amen. Your delivery shall be instant. Amen. You walk out of it forever. You walk out of that trap forever. So every plague of sickness and disease, no matter the source, can I say this? That every sickness and disease is by the operation of the powers of darkness. But in the world is life. And that life is the light of men. And that light shines in darkness. And darkness can't handle it. Therefore, in the name of, as you receive the word and believe the word, your total health package is delivered instantly. Yeah. 
most of our health challenges are by the activities of the wicked spirits of infirmity. They don't have hospital solutions. They don't have surgical solutions. Mm. But they have cheap, cost-free, cost-free solution in Christ. Cost-free. Somebody sold six cars, I mean six houses, sorry, in search of healing, but could not be healed by any. He had seven houses. They couldn't get the seven to sell because they couldn't get the papers. But came to Jesus and got healed for free. Hallelujah. Your labor will not be devoured by the plague of sickness and disease. Somebody was spending 200,000 a week per week for palliative treatment of bone marrow cancer. Jesus healed him for free. And still came back one year after to testify. In the name of Jesus, you will never forget to day in a hurry. plague that may have followed anyone to this service will never cross the gate of Canaan with you. Nerus Canabalo Shagela Bradia Lotuze. A man, 42 years thereabout, came to me, was impotent. And I said, You are healed. I said, Before you get to, gate, to the gate of Canaan, you see. He ran back on the way. Hey, it has happened. Hey, it has happened. Hallelujah. I ended it. Whatever this prophet proclaims on your head today becomes a living testimony in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Unveiling our heritage of total health in Christ. Now, let me say this. Faith is not a risk. Unbelief is your very risk. <laughs> Faith in God commits God's integrity to perform. Because he cannot deny himself. Matthew 14, 28 to 32. We saw Peter said, Jesus, if he be thou, bid me to come. And he began to believe is. The doctor said, your blood pressure is high. I said, not mine. Faith is not a risk. He said, look at this. I said, not necessary. Faith is not a risk. It went back to sender on the spot. He is dealing with the instrument. I'm dealing with the truth. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gap is wide. Yes, sir. Your blood pressure is not mine. Look at it. Not necessary. Do you speak English? I think I do better <laughs> than you do. <laughs> not mine. No, I never knew the name of any high blood pressure drug in my life. I went and slept, and I began to see the next crusade. <laughs> that means that is rubbish. It's not part of my life. That was the end forever. Ever. Sometimes back, I had this blood pressure thing tested. They say, it's like a 20-year-old. I said, nothing is pressing my life. <laughs> Amen. That's 35 years after the Hallelujah. Nothing. Hallelujah. This thing works. Don't let any devil tell you you are running a risk. Sir, I would rather die than doubt God. Amen. That's all my life. <laughs> I would rather die than doubt God. I've been in the midst of death time and again, but I knew I won't die. 
<laughs> and, uh, I've been in a plane where one engine failed, our own plane. And I knew I won't die. We were eating on the devil's head. In the midst of fed engine. I didn't utter one word of prayer. There is somebody in me that cannot crash. So wake up and confront your challenges. What you don't confront, you cannot conquer. Somebody's walking free this morning. Say with me, the price for my total health has been fully paid. I refuse to be robbed of it. I'm taking full delivery today. No more harassment on my health. No more harassment on my health. Anyone that desires healing from Jesus must actually answer the faith question in the affirmative. He said, do you believe that I, the son of God, I'm able to do this for you? He says, yes. It's now according to your faith, take your delivery. So you are healed according to your faith. Matthew 9, 29. You are healed according to your faith. You are delivered according to your faith. Amen. You are set free according to your faith. You live in health and wholeness according to your faith. Yes, you have found the word. Do you believe the word? We consciously mix the word with the faith in us. Then the product comes out. Your faith is the catalyst that empowers accelerated delivery of the word. Your faith is the catalyst that empowers accelerated delivery of your inheritance. Faith must be there or the prophet can never be realized. He said, it wasn't mixed with faith with them. It didn't profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that had it. Hebrews 4, 2. It's not, you can read up. Everybody in this church can quote anything, sir. Anything. This is cool. You can quote 10 healing scriptures straight online. <laughs> yeah. The effect cannot be seen. Why it is not being consciously mixed with faith in you? It's time to take responsibility of engaging your faith in taking delivery of your inheritance in Christ. It's not accessible without it. Who oh, had believed a report? The report of the price already fully paid the redemption. Now, let him expect to see the hand of God for delivery. You are saying that raw hand of God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear your loudest amen. This is simple but powerful. Don't let no devil manipulate your mind saying that this is too simple to be true. I have lived with that. Many in this church have lived with that and has been more than true in their life. You are the next in line. No devil will feast on your body again. Now, this morning, what we're trying to look at is what is in the world that he is. So it means the quickness spirit is in the world. For the flesh profited nothing, Jesus said, it is a spirit that giveth life. The word that I've spoken to you, they are spirit and they are life. The quickening spirit of God is in the world. What do we mean by quickening? 
the one that makes a life, the one that energizes our system, the one that restores every broken down part to perfect functioning, the quickening spirit of God is in the world. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. Ah, set me up on my feet. Ezekiel 2.2. Two. The quickening power of God. The medicinal power of God. Amen. The curative power of God. Amen. His domicile in his world. He sent his word and he quickened them. And delivered them out of all their destruction. Psalm 107 verse 20. Jesus was preaching and the power of God was present to heal them. The quickening power of God. Luke 5.17 The quickening power of God is in the world. And when the people heard it, then everybody lined up. Luke 6, 17 to 19. To hear him, because he had the testimonies of those who just sat down and had him, and they were healed. <laughs> those fellows were smart. When that woman told the hem of his garment was healed, everybody was struggling to touch they, they were touching him. And as many as touching were made perfectly whole. Perfectly whole. Matthew 14 and verse 36. When they saw that there was hidden power in his word, they came to hear him and to be healed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. They came to hear him and to be healed. And there went forth virtue from the word they spoke and healed yeah. them. Oh, how many of them? All of them. All of them. The quickening, healing power of God is resident in His world. The quickening and healing power of God is resident in His world. So every time you are feeding on the world, you are taking treatment. You are what? Taking treatment. You are taking your medication. Side effect free. You are taking your medication, the cheapest anywhere in the world. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are taking your spiritual medication. Wow. Did you not hear? We are by are giving unto us this great and precious and exceeding promises that by this we have been partakers of divine nature haven't escaped the afflictions in the world. We escape by feeding on the world, partaking of divine nature, which is immune to sickness and disease. Amen. Divine nature is sickness free. Yes. Divine nature is pain free. So as you feed on the world, <laughs> your divine nature content is enhanced and your dominion enhanced. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I went to Capernaum one time for a meeting and then I said, is there any restroom here? They said, oh no, you have to go to the tower. I said, no, I can go to the tower. So went to the meeting. Two hours, 15 minutes. So they reminded me, sir, you are going to go to the toilet the other time. I said, oh, okay, okay, I remember. <laughs> You can suspend the laws of nature at will. At will, no harassment. At will. At we at coming to an all night meeting. Forget to go to restroom. I don't need to go to restroom if I came in because I took some water. But I stayed throughout five hours, thirty minutes, stress free. You are long overdue for another level. Amen. Now, wait a minute. 
at 120, your eyes will be as clear as 40. <laughs> and so shall it be. Amen. What else is in the world that he said with me? The surgical power of God. Say it loud. In case any part of your system is beyond treatment, I will need surgical intervention. God's word carries surgical virtues. Amen. Apart than any scalpel of any surgeon able to pierce beyond where they stop. Amen. Amen. Piercing even to dividing asunder of soul and spirit. They don't do that in the hospital. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And it's a designer of the intents of the heart. <laughs> it will unravel anything, hiding anywhere, tormenting your life. Plug them out. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Remember in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. Now in the beginning, God opened up Adam. Genesis 2, 21. Took a rib out of him <laughs> and closed it up. No, that means it was not theoretical. There were no stitches. There was no recovery process. <laughs> Adam just jumped on and dancing. My bone of my bones, my flesh of... Somebody just went through surgery now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is the master surgeon for you. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? On the spot, there was no recovering. Mm. He just opened the thing, took up a rib, not flesh. A rib, he cut it. Oh. 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 Come on. And then brought Eve out of it. And brought Eve to Adam. And the dumps are the Instant surgery. Instant what? Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Every damaged part of your body that requires surgical intervention, receive it from the master surgeon. In the name of Jesus Christ. We had some testimonies here today of somebody that had a damaged liver. And I said, every damaged part of your body will be replaced. And in the night, he saw a huge man. Carrying a brand new liver on a tray. <laughs> Got up in the morning. Wait, 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 wait. And to replace it in its perfect form. The world went on on a surgery. And that same month she became pregnant. You need the uterus to carry the baby. A brand new uterus has been deposited there from John 10 10. Humorously, when she was going to give her testimony, I was the speaker of the full gospel in Jaws. She looked at me. I can't remember her anymore. I looked at her. She started crying. Then she gave her testimony. That this is the fruit of John 10.10. 10. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory. This is the fruit of... Somebody will return with a humbling testimony from this one. <laughs> I spoke on the master surgeon in Uganda. And the woman had an accident. All her ribs were broken. She was an in-situ patient. Couldn't move any part of our body just looking on. In the night, the master surgeon showed up. Began to press her chest. Press her chest. Ah, woke up in the morning. Eh? Eh, me now? Eh? What's happening? Wow. Hey, me? I stood up. The master surgeon sorted him out in the night. Rosagarata protea there. Tonight, expect the master surgeon's intervention. Hey. 
every evil seed inside anyone tormenting your life in one area or another shall be rooted out today. Now, he can put you to sleep in the day. He did that for my son, Eniola. Got him to sleep. He said, go to bed. I want to operate on you. Afternoon. You don't need to wait for the night. Afternoon. And then remove the meta implant that was there 2007. And dropped it on his bed like a baby. And there is no opening or spillage of water or blood. Master soldier. He doesn't need a theater to operate. He can operate on you while you are seated. Yes. As you catch a nap this afternoon, he will show up to you. Yeah. God's word is curative. God's word is surgical. And God's word is creative. In case the damage is beyond repair, he replaces it. <laughs> well, for instance, a woman here had no two ovaries and had two sons. How? The two ovaries were removed by surgery. Not that uh, you don't know. They literally removed them before she got married because she was going to die without it. Amen? It was infested. So there were no two ovaries. How did you get these children? Because you must produce eggs to get it. He has replaced them. Yes, sir. He has what? Replaced them. The word has replaced them. God's word is creative. And God said, and God saw, and God said, and God saw, and God saw everything that God said. Behold, they were very good. So every word from the Lord is creative. So his healing power, his health restoration power lies in his curative force in the world, surgical power in the world, and creative power in the world. Now, no fallopian tubes and then a set of twins. You don't put that together. He created every tube required. Hallelujah. Fallopian, fallopian, anyone. Hallelujah. Amen. God's word is creative. When the blind received their sight, what happened? He has recreated the sight. Yes, sir. It was dead. Mm. I told that woman, is it that he created them or he stole them? Oh, God will never steal them. Your situation cannot go beyond the curative power of God, the surgical power of God, and the creative power of God. Amen. So your case is settled. Amen. Now watch, somebody else is catching this today, and if Jesus studies, in 16 years you are still 35. How many are sure to be part of that testimony? How many are sure to be part of that testimony? <laughs> Money has no capacity to heal or deliver. Don't let the devil devour your resources. Return to Jesus who has unlimited power to deal with the issues of your health and deal with them without any recourse. One of my younger ones was struck with the spirit of insanity, 1983 December. And I went there intoxicated with John 1, 1 to 14. Come and say intoxicated. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. As I said, ah, you must be mad. Don't go to anywhere. Go to where you are safe. <laughs> I said, there's a light that shines in darkness. Darkness cannot handle. I went there with the authority of the light of the world. As I entered, the mad young chap stood up. Light entered. Darkness fled. And proceeded to greet me. They said, do you know him? He said, that's my brother. 
Mention, say, mention my name. I said, dress him up, put him in my car. Let me see the devil that has the God to enter my car with me. They put him in the car in 10 minutes. Ah, ah, ah. He has not slept for weeks. Ah, ah, ah. We got him, we had to help him up. No prayer. Light. Light. You don't pray for darkness to go in your room when you turn on the light if there's power. Amen. Amen. You know, say darkness. As I turn on this light, you must go. <laughs> I confess, you must go. I profess, you must go. You don't do that. You turn on the light without sweat. <laughs> My younger child was delivered instantly. instantly. Amen. Following day, I said, take him to a teaching hospital so that village people will not invade my house. <laughs> they got him there. They said, what's wrong with you? He said, you mean what was wrong with me? What Hallelujah. Wrong with me? Hallelujah. Pata, pata, Hallelujah. Ended. ended there forever. Hallelujah. After that, he went to the university. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To show that his head is correct. Yes, God married. Has children. Amen. One of them in university today. Hallelujah. Life is so simple. Don't let the devil confuse you. Amen. Faith is never a risk. Come and say it with me. Faith, Faith is, is never a risk. It is the key to your triumph. Doubt is your greatest risk. It turns God's back on you. You di disconnect yourself from the real help that makes life great. Why did you doubt? Oh, you have little faith. Why? Ordinary storm? No! No! You want to see the power in the world? A lady came to me, 1986, in Port Harcourt. And she'd been having challenges in her sleep. Some evil forces coming, tormenting her life. And I said, come over, I'll give you three tablets. He thought I was going to give me medication. So I gave him three shots of scriptures. That was it. She came shouting the next time we saw. He said, it walked like fire. What did I say to him? He gave his beloved sleep. And the gift and callings of God are without repentance. You don't need Valium 10 to sleep. Just have Valium 1272. Psalm 127 verse 2. He giveth his beloved sleep. I gave him a second one and a third one. And her eyes glow with faith. I knew she got it. I knew she got it. And that was the end of it. You won't need to take medication to sleep again in your life. He said, you shall lie down and your sleep shall be sweet. Undistorted sleep. Proverbs 3, 27. Undistorted sleep. Sleep, sweet sleep. Sweet sleep. That's your portion. The good news here is this. Everything you need to live a super healthy life has been fully paid for. All you need is your faith signature for delivery. All you need now is your faith signature for delivery. That's all you need. All you need is your faith signature for delivery. Stop quoting scriptures you don't believe. It can be frustrating. Stop quoting scriptures you won't believe. It can be frustrating. Consciously build your faith around every truth that has to do with your inheritance that is hanging. Consciously build it by testimonies you can gather. We have a whole compendium of uh, science and wonders today. It's about 650 pages, classified, section by section. You use that to fire up your faith. You see the testimony behind the books? You use them to fire up your faith. So you can take delivery of your package. Now, the battle 
over your health is over today. Amen. Thank God for doctors. They are there to confirm, validate our testimony. There were no tubes here before. What did you see now? I see tubes. What was this before? SS. What is it now? AA. Hey, hey. uh, he adjusts his glasses. <laughs> Read it now. Hey. Is a but, but no, not but. What did you see here? <laughs> you will return with your testimony. Amen. Amen. Welcome to a world of superhead. Now, give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Is somebody blessed here? Give the Lord another big clap offer. Thank you, Jesus. Now, for every one of us in this fourth service, healing is children's brain. God is committed to the healing, health, and wholeness of his children, just like any parent would be. Matthew 15, verse 28. Healing is your right, verse 26. Healing is your right in Christ after you are born again. Jesus saved my soul 1969 February and took tuberculosis from my life the same 69. And I've stayed sickness free by his grace ever since. Be born again first, then you have committed God to your healing, health, and wholeness. If you are here in this service, you want to live the overcomer's life, you want to be born again, you want to spend eternity with Christ in heaven after a triumphant adventure on the earth, wherever you are, please stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you are, just stand to your feet. God is doing something new in your life right now. Just stand to your feet wherever you are. Stand to your feet. You want to surrender your life to Christ today. Be born again and live your overcomer's life. Please stand to your feet. Please stand to your feet. You want to be born again today and live your overcomer's life. Please stand to your feet. God bless you. Somebody else is standing up. Wherever you are, get up on your feet right now before we pray. Amen. Now, remain standing, please. There are also people here that need to reconnect back to God. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Maybe you have been angry with God over one thing or another. You want to return back to him and enjoy the hell from above. Please stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Maybe some fellows have come your way and told you, no, 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 forget about church. And then you started following like a sheep. You want to return to the, come back. Every trap of the wicked around your life will be broken today. Now, wait a minute. In the name of Jesus, everyone returning today, you never have any reason to disconnect again. Yeah. Everyone giving his or life to Christ today, you never have any reason to go back. Yeah. Please, all of us who are standing, move to the nearest aisle to where you are. Some church officials are there. They will help you in filling out your card in one minute. Next Sunday is our covenant day of longevity. The plague of untimely death in anyone's family shall be finally destroyed. Yeah. The threat of death on your life by the wickedness of the wicked shall be over forever. Yeah. Come prepared to ensure your life for longevity. Come prepared with your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, all of us who are standing, would you please bow your heads and prayers and lift up your right hand to heaven. And follow me as I pray this prayer along with you. Say with me, Lord Jesus, 
I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again that I might be set free. Right now, I believe my sins are forgiven. I'm now a child of God. I'm now restored. I'm now born again. I'm now a child of light. No more harassment of the powers of darkness on my life anymore. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me. Amen. Keep your hands up. In the name of Jesus, the same grace that brought you in today will preserve you for life. No more going back for you. The battle over your life is over today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cover all of you with the precious blood of Jesus. Your life and destiny is declared secure. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise for them. Please complete your forms and pass them on to the church officials around you and be reminded of Believer's Foundation class that holds every Monday and you go for only two Mondays, 6 to 7.30 p.m. We have it in about 7 around 10 locations. We'll get back to you from our outreach, I mean, our new Converse location. They will let you know which one is nearest to where you live. Endeavor to be there. You'll be taught the basic principles of the faith that will empower you to live a triumphant life. Don't miss it for anything. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we all rise? Give the Lord a big clap of him. Come on, give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. The battle over my health is over today. Come and say so. Every torment of the spirit of infirmity is over in my life today. I believe with all my heart by the prophetic word this morning, every spirit of infirmity afflicting any area of my life has been cast out finally. I am now free at last and I am free forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. Now, wait a minute. As a point of contact, I will have you lay your hands upon any area that has buffeted you either to by the wall. Lots of them are gone. We're having the largest wave of instant healing in this service now. Because everyone that believes we take raw delivery of his portion. You are taking delivery of your portion of total health today. Yeah. There went out virtue from him and healed them all. How many of them? Oh. The hidden power in the world can heal a million people at a time and heal them all, and heal them all, and heal them all, by the word. Every terminal disease shall be terminated here today. He said his flesh was consumed the way that it could not be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul dried nigh to the grave. And his life to destroy her. But did there be a messenger with him? One Amegan Thousand, an interpreter, who will show unto man 
is rise to total hell, restoration of hell. Ah, then he will be massive to him, gracious to him, and say, deliver him from going down to the pit. He has found the ransom for his life. Yes, sir. Then his flesh shall be fresher than a child. He shall return to the days of his youth. Watch, in this church at 80, you'll be looking 40. Amen. Yes. At 100, you'll be looking 50. Yes. At 120, you will be having. <laughs> because an interpreter has shown up. The Holy Ghost has shown up. Inside an interpreter. And has unveiled unto man. You don't. He said, they make me angry by the people that dwell in the far countries. If I were in Canada now, they would have treated me. Don't they die there? How many went there and came back? We used to have a missionary hospital near my place in those days. When they carry you there, they expect you to be returned dead. <laughs> they, are, they are expecting you. When they say they have carried you there, they say, hey, wow. This man is dead. Now, they have carried him to a specialist place, but they believe he's dead. Now, before they carry you there, that means you are near death. You are quarter to death. <laughs> Amen. But Jesus will heal anybody. From it. They brought someone from Taiwan here. Yes, yes, yes. Taiwan. Yes. It was an evil spirit. All the medical experts in Taiwan couldn't handle it. Yes, they brought him down here. He was gyrating and all that stuff, but the Hallelujah. power of God came. Hallelujah. And he was jumping on the platform. Completely restored. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't joke with God. Yes, sir. Now, put your hand on any part of your body that constitutes a concern. If it's an organ in your body, put your hand on your chest. If it's a blood disease, put your hand on your chest. You can't put your hand on the blood. If it's on your back, put your hand on your back. If it's on your leg, put your hand on your leg. Now, in the name of Jesus, using that touch as a point of contact, I decree your instant healings now. <laughs> I command your blood vision to clear off. I command your ears to be unstopped. I command your tongue to be loose. Every terminal. in your hand. Memory loss is restored. In the name of Jesus. Every damaged organ in your body, I command them restore to health. irreparable part of your body, I decree that they be replaced. Now, receive brand new kidneys. Receive a brand new heart. Brand new lungs. I command the plague on your leg to be averted. Jesus. Every pain and discomfort in your body is destroyed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now be fully restored. That chest pain is gone. That back pain is over. That spinal challenge is restored. In the name of Jesus. Every running nose plague is over. The plague of sleeplessness, insomnia is over in your life. Now, 
I cast out every spirit of infirmity tormenting you in one way or another. Come out and enter no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command your intelligence to be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge in any part of your body is reverted to order. Right now. What you could not do before, begin to do it now. What you could not see before, begin to see it now. In the name of Jesus. The battle over your head is over at last. The plague of impotency is over. The plague of infertility is over. Every death sentence placed on anyone by medical experts, I command them reverted. Everyone appointed to death is now set free. And so shall it be. Yeah. Lift up your two hands to heaven and give God thanks and check your body. Something has taken place. Something has happened. Check your body. Something has happened. Something has happened. The pain is over. The plague is over. Your leg can now move. Your ears can now hear. Your eyes can now see. That migraine plague is removed from your body. That terminal disease is terminated in your life. Celebrate God. Magnify Him. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Amen. Service is your total health insurance with God. Thou shalt serve the Lord your God and he will bless your bread and water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of your life. You will serve me. And I will, take, I will keep you fit. John 15, 1 and 2. I'm the vine, you are the branches. Every branch in me that beareth fruit, that beareth not fruit, I take away. Every branch that beareth fruit, I pog or keep fit that he may keep bearing more fruit. Every fruit bearing Christian is running a total health insurance policy with God. God is committed to keeping you fit as you keep serving him. So, no stopping, no packing, keep moving. No stopping, no packing, keep moving. If you cannot fly wrong, if you cannot run walk, if you cannot walk wrong, by all means, keep moving. Serving God is the only authentic total health insurance with God in this kingdom. You serve me, keep bringing results, and I will keep you fit. I, when God keeps you fit, no devil can make you unfit. Well, it's not the village, the witch in your village that's tormenting your life. It's your disconnect from the covenant of sustainable health. Come on, get engaged. Stay strong on the prayer altar. Stay strong in pursuit of souls. I still went out yesterday with my team. We came back with 337 souls. Man. I've been going and going since 41 years back, and the going has been great without lack of testimonies. It's the only way. Yes, Don't be a sedan, do nothing, person in charge. Yes, you rot. Mm. You rot. That's your insurance. That's the insurance of everyone. Everybody else. Keep serving God. No devil can keep you on feet. Keep serving God. You have committed God's integrity to keep you fit. Can I tell you something? 40 years from now, you'll be looking fresher than this. Amen. 
30 years from now, you'll be looking fresher than this. Every time, except I'm not sent. If you will yield your life to serve God, every terminal disease in your body is finally terminated today. All through Operation Prayer for Life, keep engaging, tirelessly engaging, faithfully engaging, and watch how you become more fit day after day. You never lose your package. Yeah. Lift up those two hands together. Let's share the goodness of the Lord. Sure.